We spoke a little bit about leverage about a week ago. How do you use leverage in a smart way and sort of protect against possible recessions or downturns? You need to understand that leverage is OPM, other people's money. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to forecast how will you make up if things don't go well. You should not get overextended. You should only use as much leverage as you can manage. If a property pencils out to have 80% debt, go with 70 or 65. Oh, the cushion, okay. May run your numbers for a underperformance of 20% from what your business plan says and see how much can you pay. The amount will depend a lot on the conditions, on the covenants of the loan and the rate you're paying. Mm. Sometimes the covenants are the ones that kill you. They might say your revenue has to be one and a half times interest or two times interest. It has different restrictions. If it's just money, you'll say, well, I need to pay $10,000 a month to the bank. The property generates 13, but I have other sources where I could stand for a year or two paying the 10,000 even if the property is empty. Okay. So that will allow you to not lose your property in bad times. Again, you should be very careful not to overextend yourself. One of the crises in the real estate industry is that owners tend to take advantage of the good times when the properties are worth more to borrow, refinance, and buy other properties. Mm. So in the good times, they grow a lot. In the bad times, the debt they took eats them up. So let's say you own five properties. You go, you refinance the five, or you refinance four, and you sell one. And then you have a little kitty set aside for the bad times. Right. If you build up that reserve, you're going to be fine. I With see. the money you got from the four you refinance, you can buy a fifth one. But you already have put away in the bank the proceeds of the fifth one, which will allow you to be able to be stay alive in bad times. Mm. Come meet us over at signetinvestments.com. There you'll have access to our full podcast and articles archives. Also, if you subscribe there, you'll get new updates sent straight to your inbox. You can also find us across all social media platforms. Our handle is Signet Investing. Thank you and invest wisely.